Hey guys, sorry for the disaster that is this video, but I currently cannot get to this bookshelf. There is a ton of stuff sitting in front of it. So this is this, this week's shelfie. I'm so sorry that I've missed a couple of weeks on this. This month has been insane with this math class and diabetes and just everything that has been going on. So I'm finally getting back into it here this April. So I'm really hoping that I don't have any more lapses. I'm actually going to be filming a couple of these all at once so that I can get them at least on my computer. So I hopefully won't have any more issues in the next coming weeks because everything will be done. All right. So this is actually the bottom shelf of this shelf here, which is covered in stuff. And uh, this, I'm not gonna actually bring out any of the books because I can't exactly reach them. <laughs> if I did not have this camera, uh, you probably wouldn't even be able to see this. All right, so first off is the Shadow and Bone series. I have the, I should be able to zoom in on this very slowly. I have the first, I have all of this series actually, as well as the spinoff series and the collection of novellas. This is from uh, Leigh Bardugo, and um, I also have, as you can see, the first paperback of the newer covers, which are gorgeous. Actually, all of these are signed except for that paperback of Shadow and Bone and The Language of Florence, which actually I think that one might be signed as well. I don't remember. I think I got a book plate for it. But, um, whew, I'm out of breath bending over like this. Uh, but anyway, this series is amazing. I have actually only read the first two books in the Shadow and Bone series. I haven't even touched Six of Crows. I'm still trying to get through the massive stack of TBR and stuff. I am slowly getting through stuff this month. Um, I'm currently reading The Black Witch, so you can join us over at The Book Addicts on Facebook if you want to join us talking about the book and talking with the author. Whew. The next set of books, which are three books there, are from from uh, V.V. Barnes. She is an amazing author and this is her Olivia Twisted uh, series which is about hackers and then Olivia Decoded which is book two and then Paper or Plastic which I haven't touched yet and those are all signed as well. The next one is The Traitor's Kiss, which was amazing. I know I got that one in one of the book boxes last year. If you haven't read it, you definitely need to. It is so good. Uh, the next three books are from uh, BD. I do rem not remember the author's first name, but it is a gentleman, and this is Seraphine and the Black Cloak. This is a middle grade novel, and it is beyond fabulous. If you haven't checked it out, you definitely need to. And there goes my watch and my Fitbit off telling me to walk around a bit. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, the next series is uh, the Kindling series. I know that's not the actual series title. I don't remember what it's called. This is by Brandon Bell. He is an amazing author. This is another middle grade series that I have. And if you haven't checked it out, you definitely need to. He just actually started self-publishing a couple of other things. I know one that we still haven't gotten to. I actually had lost the book and just finally refound it when I was fixing my calendar. So we'll be doing that one here pretty soon and I'm pretty sure that one is teen but this is definitely a series that we constantly talk about because it's so good the next one is or the next two are by Sharon Sharon Biggs Waller and this is a mad wicked folly which is that I think in Victorian times turn of the century I should think these are both for the time periods are closely related I don't remember uh, the first one deals with a girl who is an artist and she's kind of like a girl out of her time. Um, she doesn't subscribe to a lot of the things of what uh, society tells her to do basically. Other than that, I don't remember really much what goes on in the book. It's been forever since I read it. The next one is The Forbidden Orchid. This one deals with the girl's father, I'm pretty sure that um, he goes and looks for rare orchids but then he then he gets poisoned, so she has to figure out what exactly poisoned him and how to save him, if I remember correctly, as it's been a good long while since I've read those. So that is this week's books. If you haven't checked these out, I definitely recommend that you do. They are amazing. And the one little thing that is sitting on top of this bookshelf is the Crooked Kingdom pre-order uh, dice. All right, so that is everything for this week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have read any of these books, um, 
down below, please let me know about it in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye!